Shalom. I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, who are my teachers. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Came across this article <clears throat> and it's a mouse plague going on in rural Australia. And this headline is from The Guardian. This was done March 19th, 2021, year of hastening of Yahweh Bashar Shah. And it says, <clears throat> You can't escape the smell. Mouse plague grows to biblical proportions across eastern Australia, you see. Now, why is that biblical proportions there? The Lord <clears throat> makes known his judgments. Matter of fact, yeah, let's go get that. <clears throat> let's go to Psalms. Because they wouldn't use that word. Biblical proportions out of nowhere. It means it's never been seen before or it's been now done on a scale that's uh, greater than what would be a, a normal thing. All right. <clears throat> so this is Psalms chapter 9 and verse 16. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. Let's read this again. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higgion said lie. For the Lord is known by these judgment. That's why you had this article with a headline. <clears throat> Mouse plague grows to biblical portions in eastern Australia. They had this video queued up. I'm going to play this video. It's only 58 seconds long. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we're going to get some more precepts and we're going to close out. But the Lord said he was going to send these different plagues upon the world. Okay? Damn, that was a lot of um, a lot of mice. All right, and the Lord had what brought unseasonably unusual uh, rain, as it said during the uh, during the summer, and it caused the uh, it caused the the mice to multiply. All right, and it said it was on these five farms. All right, now when these five farms are are, are played with mice. That's what they're eating. They're eating the crops. Okay. Let's go to 2nd Ezra. <clears throat> it's 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Yeah, they're going to come to pay. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yeah, the unbelief. Don't, don't worry about it. All right? It says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will sing plagues upon the world. You see, this thing is worldwide. The sword, famine, 
death and destruction. You see, and everything is a weapon to the Lord of hosts. All right. These mice are a weapon to the Lord of hosts. We often touch on this, that the Lord can use anything to bring forth his work. All right. He can use a a, a hill full of ants, <laughs> you know, to come get you. All right. Or locusts. All right. Or flies or mice. All right. And this is the work of Yahweh by Shai. Now, I read some of this article. I want to grab right quick. <coughs> Just bear with me. <coughs> Let's see why I got so damn dry all of a sudden. Give me one second. All right. Let's get this little portion right here. It says locals who have endured months of mice and rats getting in their houses, stores, and cars are praying heavy rain <laughs> will help wipe them out. That's what they praying. But the Lord is bringing these plagues upon the whole world. That's why you see everything is in motion. All right. Why? Because the Israelites are waking up to their heritage. All right. And the Lord is, is, is jumping in. Making everything known. <clears throat> now check this out. It says drought, fire, and C-19 pestilence. This is the Lord bringing all these things. Drought, fire, which they had a whole bunch of wildfires. If you recall. It says C-19 pestilence. Didn't the Lord say this was going to happen? Matter of fact. Let's go get it. <clears throat> Let's go to Matthew chapter 24. And <clears throat> yeah, let's just get to the point. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, you see. All these are just the beginning of sorrows. So what we're seeing right here is, is the Lord beginning to uh, put sorrow upon the earth, upon the whole world. All right. It says, uh, C-19 pestilence and an all-consuming plague of mice. And each continent that I'm noticing is having some kind of different plague. Okay, you have uh, in the land of Ham, which is so-called Africa, these locusts, right? It's been going back and forth, eating up the eastern to the southern, you know, different uh, areas of that particular uh, country. They're, they're hitting it left and right, east to the west to the south, all right? You also had... Uh, I believe a, a plague of swine flu that hit those uh those pigs in China, all right, and and it caused them to slaughter I think over a million pigs, something like that, which they shouldn't be eating them in the first place. But they're just showing you how the Lord is cutting off the food supply. Okay, it says rural New South Wales. <clears throat> has faced just about every biblical challenge nature has to offer in the last few years. You can't make this up. But now it is praying for another. An almighty flood to drown the mice in their burrows and cleanse the blighted land of the rodents or some very heavy rain at least. <laughs> And the Lord may have the way they go into another drop, man. All right? It's beautiful. Let's see what else we can get. And then we'll get a couple more precepts and close it out. Because <clears throat> the Lord is doing all his pleasure. There's nothing that you can do about it. He said he's going to bring these plagues upon the world. Okay? I thought I had read something. Regarding um, the crops, 
Mm. And they keep using this term, growing to biblical proportions. Why is that there? All right? Because these things are going to cost them in the end. It's going to be that bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey. Man, if I can't find Moab will have a damn time over there catching all them damn mice, man. They retarded ass. Okay. Damn, you see them all in the cars. All in the refrigerator. Let's see. Mm. Wow, look at that shit. Man, that's, that's the Lord. Oh, it's a 500, and they still got a play going on. Okay. Let me see. Maybe further down. <clears throat> hmm. I must have skipped it. And you know what? Let's get a little bit of information toward the top. Then we'll get back into the precepts. Because the Lord is sending a beautiful plague on the whole world. All right? It says, it seems everyone in the rural towns of Northwest uh, NSW and Southern Queensland has their own mouse war story and posts online they detail waking up to mouse droppings on their pillows woo, or watching the ground move at night as hundreds of thousands of rodents flee from torch light beams <laughs> oh man hey man call all you have by shop shot all right that's all i'm gonna say the water you have the water you have a shot Let's go to Isaiah. The Lord is performing his work. He said these things are going to come upon the world. Guess what? They're coming to pass. This is Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So the Lord is firmly putting it to work, all right? All his counsel is going to stand. He's doing all his pleasure, okay? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord will, has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rakaq Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Lord willing, coming at you a lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.